Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about valuation of environmental goods for UGC NET and topics for today's video are meaning of environmental valuation, important methods of environmental valuation and need for environmental valuation. So let's start it. So what do you mean by environmental valuation? Environmental valuation means assign monetary value to our environmental goods. Environmental valuation means assign monetary value to our environmental goods. Or we can say that assign value to our environmental goods in terms of money. But why we assign value to our environmental goods in terms of money? As we know, our environment is very important. It contributes in production by providing inputs like minerals, oil, coal, forest product and also regulate climate condition. But over a time period, there is degradation in our environment which adversely affect on quality of our life. And major cause of degradation in our environment is we assign zero value to our environmental goods. We think our environment is easily available. Uh, that's why we don't value it. But if we will assign monetary value to our environmental goods, then we will definitely think about improvement in quality of our environment. Now we will see important methods of environmental valuation. First important method is contingent valuation method. This is interview based method where people are asked how much they are willing to pay in terms of money for getting environmental goods. For example, individuals are directly asked how much money they are willing to pay in order to get, sustain or improve environmental resources. Or they can ask how much money they will accept in exchange if someone take away environmental resources from them. Now, with the help of one example, we will understand contingent valuation method. Suppose we take interview of person A and we ask from him how much money he is willing to pay if he will receive proper sunlight, fresh air and greenery outside of his home. Or we can ask how much money in exchange he will accept if he will shift it in a home where he will not get any sunlight, fresh air, greenery outside of his home. If he will say I will accept 10 lakh rupees, that means monetary value of our environmental goods like sunlight, fresh air and greenery outside of someone's home is equal to 10 lakh rupees. So by this way we can assign a monetary value to our environmental goods. Next important method of environmental valuation is hedonic price method. This method estimate how change in environmental facilities affect price of any property. This method estimate how change in environmental facilities affect price of any property. For example, a house which have better environmental facilities have a higher price as compared to house which is located in polluted area and differences between prices of both houses one have a better environmental facilities and other is located in polluted area will be called consumer willingness to pay for better environmental facilities and according to this method price of property is decided by considering both environmental and non environmental characteristics According to this method, price of any property is decided by considering both environmental and non-environmental characteristics. Environmental characteristics include natural beauty, clean air, waste management facilities, environmental management facilities and non-environmental characteristics include size of rooms, number of rooms in, in any house etc. And according to this method, whenever we will buy any property, we will consider both environmental characteristics as well as non-environmental characteristics of any property. Now, with the help of one example, we will clearly understand hedonic price method. H is a function of S, N and Z. Here H is hedonic price. F mainly used for function. S means structural characteristics of house like number of rooms, size of rooms, etc. N is neighborhood characteristics of house. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम स्कूल हॉस्पिटल क्वालिटी ऑफ स्कूल क्राइम रेट एसेट्रा and z is environmental variation and here in environmental variation we mainly use air quality suppose we have two houses a and b price of a house is 10 lakh rupees but here we only have s and n but we don't have z means here we have proper structural characteristics and neighborhood characteristics but we don't have environmental variation we don't have proper air quality and price of this house is 10 lakh rupees on the other hand in house b with s and n we also have z means here with structural and neighborhood characteristics we also have environmental variation we also have good air quality and price of this house is 15 lakh rupees you can see house which have environmental facility higher price as compared to house which don't have any environmental facilities and difference between 15 lakh and 10 lakh is equal to 5 lakh this 5 lakh will be called value of environmental goods this 5 lakh will be called value of good air quality next important method of environmental valuation is traveling cost method in many developed countries these method are used to calculate value of recreational sites means we mainly use this method for calculating value of recreational sites recreational sites are those sites where we enjoy entertain or relax for example national park zoo or beaches etc now we will see how we can calculate value of recreational site first is how many visitors are coming there if they are there are coming so many visitors that means the value of recreational site is very high how much price is they are willing to pay for this site means how much uh, entry fee they are willing to pay for these sites how much opportunity cost they bear opportunity cost means cost of next option for example they couldn't spend time with their friends because they have to spend time with nature so opportunity cost is not spending time with their friends because they are spending time in these recreational sites and how increased entry fee would affect number of visitors if minor increase in entry fee reduce number of visitor that means this recreational site don't have so much value but if entry fee increase so much but number of visitor not reduce as compared to increase in entry fee that means recreational site is very important now we will see need for environmental valuation make a better decision now you know about value of environmental goods now you know environmental goods are not easily available environmental goods are not free that's why now you can take better decision regarding buying any property or doing businesses etc improve environmental management environmental valuation can improve environmental management solve environmental dispute you can easily pay for environmental damage if you know about value of environmental goods so obviously you can solve any environmental dispute next is guiding environmental regulation if policy maker know about environmental valuation environmental cost then they can easily make rules and regulation regarding environment sustainable development in sustainable development we think about future generation we protect our environment and environmental valuation help in sustainable development and environmental valuation also help in improvement in quality of environment and reduce environmental degradation so this is all about uh, environmental valuation i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care